Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the end of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load slash happy to mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what I have received in my P.O. Box for the month. This is mainly a show us your sheet load video where you will see people using different editions of sheet load of cards, but sometimes I get happy mail just because. Now if you ever want to show us your sheet load or send me a card, my P.O. box is at the very bottom of the description box below. To find out how you can show us your sheet load, there are three ways. You can share a video here on YouTube, an image over on Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I do have the video with all of the guidelines linked in the description box. Don't forget when you're done with today's video, you can go see what subscribers are sharing here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I have those search links in the description box below. I know that everybody would love for you to stop by, see what they've created, and leave them some love. Before we get to the mail today, I do want to remind you that today is the last day that you can pre-order my new Abstract Botanical Stamp and Stencil Bundle. I am super excited to have created this in collaboration with Not Too Shabby, and I cannot wait for all of you to start receiving your bundle at the end of March and get crafty with it. And don't forget that if you do pre-order today, you can use the discount code that is up on the screen now to save 15% off. If you do use that discount code at checkout, it basically pays for that exclusive class if you want to add that on. I am looking forward to sharing more creations using my stamp and stencil bundle, and I am so thankful that so many of you have loved it and already placed that pre-order. Why don't we go ahead and see what came in my P.O. box? First up is a beautiful card from Karen C. of Virginia. If you've been around here long, you do recognize that name with the state. And guess what? Karen has recently started her own YouTube channel. It is called Karen's Crafting Company, and I have a link in the description box. Thank you, Karen, and good luck with your channel. Letty Z of Texas sent me this beautiful card in honor of Happy Heart Day. I just love all the florals and those cute little smiling hearts. Thank you, Letty. Anna K of California sent me this adorable Valentine's Day card. I just love those little heart light bulbs. Thank you, Anna. Robin T. of Virginia also sent me a Valentine's Day card. I think it might have been inspired by a recent sheet load with those torn pieces in the back. It is also a flat card, so I do plan on putting it up on my postcard wall. Thank you, Robin. Tammy H. of New Mexico sent a Valentine's Day card that uses the February 2022 layout. I am loving the purples on this, and pay attention to the rest of the video. I think there might have been something with purple this month. Thank you, Tammy. Lindsay P. of Illinois also used February 2022, and hers has kind of a more fall or earthy feel. I love those die cut, I think it's wheat accents. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Tammy P. of Pennsylvania sent in this adorable valentine. I just love the die cut hearts, both for the sentiment and for the accent piece. Thank you so much, Tammy. Michelle A. of Arizona used the September 2021 sheet load for this Valentine's Day card. I love the monochromatic feel and thank you for the nice note inside. 
Christina M. of Illinois sent in two cards this month. On the left is the January 2022 and on the right is February 2022. I especially like how for the horizontal strip on February, she has used some lace with a ribbon weaved through it. Thank you so much! Rachel from Canada sent in a card using the February 2022 sheet load. She switched it up by putting her pattern paper strips in the upper left hand corner and her focal point on the lower right. You know I love a rainbow so this card definitely put a smile on my face. Thank you Rachel. Beth B. of Indiana, who you might know as Bourbon Creek Crafts, sent me this adorable Gnome Valentine's Day card. Thank you so much, Beth. Carmen B. sent in this beautiful example using the February 2022 sheet load. I am loving that daffodil and that pretty yellow ribbon. Thank you, Carmen. Nikki H. of California created this beautiful thank you card using the January 2022 layout. I love the soft muted colors. Thank you so much, Nikki. Iona S. of Washington sent in two cards this month. The left one is January 2022 and the right one is the current February 2022. I love the pattern papers, especially the marble one on that right card, and those cute little metallic butterfly embellishments. Thank you, Iona. Janet C. of Illinois also sent in two cards this month using the January and February 2022 sheet loads. And on her card on the right, she also has those same metallic butterfly embellishments. I thought it was fun that I opened these both in this order and they both had those embellishments. Now, one thing I want to point out that I thought was super cool, sometimes when you have, you know, like cards with bumpy stuff on them and you want to put a little something in there to protect it, well, Janet has used cut up Amazon mailers. It's super lightweight and it keeps those bumpy cards protected in the mail. After I opened her cards and saw that, I cut up my own stack of mailers to do the same. Thank you, Janet, for the card and the wonderful idea. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin must have gotten the January-February 2022 examples memo. She has also sent in two cards using those additions. I love that big bold heart on the January card and the pretty subtle colors on the February. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Jane M. from Ohio sent in two examples as well, but both of hers feature the February 2022 layout. I love the cute little image on the right and that beautiful bouquet on the left. And if you notice, here are some more purple cards. Thank you so much, Jane. Lori K. from Minnesota also sent in two cards using February 2022. I love the red, white, and blue of the card on the right and how on the left card she colored the turtle's shell to match the pattern papers. Thank you so much! It has been a little while since I have heard from Charlotte B. of Texas, but it was definitely worth the wait for her latest envelope. I got some beautiful artwork with a duck in the middle, and then I got a card and a print of a rubber stamp that she has hand carved. This will definitely go with the rest of your artwork up on my wall, Charlotte. Thank you! Sharon M. of Indiana got the purple card memo, not only for her beautiful example using February 2022, but also for her envelope. Thank you so much, Sharon, for the pretty card. Katie D. of Canada sent in two examples using January 2022. I love kind of the watercolor abstracty look of her papers. And then on the left, I was admiring the shimmery vellum that she had used for the hearts. And she sent me a couple little die cuts in the envelope as well. Thank you so much, Katie. Joan O. from Denmark sent in four beautiful examples this month using February 2022. I love the craft on this along with the red and how she has corrugated some of those horizontal strips across the card. Thank you so much, Joan. 
Marta G from Puerto Rico sent in not only that beautiful heart card on the right with a nice note, but three lovely examples using the January 2022 sheet load. I just love those little lamps and how she made them shine. Thank you, Marta. Trish D, one of my crafty Irish friends, sent in nine cards this month using various sheet loads of cards. And she also sent me another card with a very nice note. And check out that cat sticker. It reminded me a lot of my cat, Lyndon. Thank you so much, Trish. Cheryl S. from Utah sent in a card for January and February 2022 along with this little pack of die cut hearts and it's actually made from paper with seeds in it. I'll have to sprinkle it in my backyard and see what grows. Thank you so much Cheryl. Elena C. from Florida surprised me with not only this beautiful Happy New Year's card, but also the Just Press tool from Tailored Expressions. This is a tool that they sell to use as a presser for your Misty. I cannot wait to try it out. Thank you so much, Elena. And last but not least was a package from Heidi R. of Washington. She sent me this cute card with a nice note inside, and she said she was inspired to send me these stamps because of Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette. If you look closely, you have this cute little kitty with some pumpkins, and then the second stamp is the same one, but from the back side. If you had watched the Craft Roulette episode where my cat Lyndon decided to share with us her backside, you know why this is completely fitting for me. Thank you so much, Heidi, for this thoughtful gift. I hope you enjoyed seeing what came in my P.O. box this month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. I do want to say another great big thank you to everyone who took the time to mail in a card, a nice note, and even the little extra goodies. It is totally appreciated. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.